Welcome Diecast Race Fans, I'm Tom Spanners Watson. And I'm Frank Gary Gibbs, and welcome to the semi-finals of Rats vs Rods. There was some incredible action last week with Sammy Seatax pulling off his Seatax tumble, and a couple of other amazing moves, I'm sure there'll be plenty more tonight. It's the same setup with the semis, where we've got four races per heat, four cars at a time, and they rotate start positions, and we're running the exact same scoring, 5-3-2-1, and of course 0 if you DNF. I still think we should have style points. All right, let's have a look at who's driving today. For the Hot Rods, we've got the Bone Shaker driven by Dion and the Sofars driven by Sammy Seatax. Then the only representative of the Rat Rods is the Chevy Cheval driven by Glitch, and then the Hot Rod there, the Fang Yellet driven by Drax. All right, they're in the gate for the first race. Sammy Seatax and Glitch up front. They get underway. Glitch trying to get out in front, but Sammy Seatax will take the lead. Oh, Glitch goes off the track. Seatax will go down for the win. And where are the other two Hot Rods? Oh no, they've stalled out. Well, that is not a great start for everybody there, apart from Sammy Seatax. Let's have a look at the replay. So Sammy Seatax gets on his nose there, wow, and Glitch just drifted wide, rolls off the track and hangs out with the Outlaws by the look of it. There's plenty of time for that, Glitch. You really want to concentrate on the race. Sammy Seatax there, no mucking around, straight down to the finish, picks up the five points for the win, and disappointing for those other two hot rods getting jammed up together. So Seatax the only one to post any score in this race so far. The way he landed over the jump, I didn't even think he was going to finish, but he did very well. So drivers rotate around. We've got Glitch and Drax up front. Sammy Seatax and Dion in behind. Sammy Seatax right on the bumper of Glitch's wagon there. Glitch out front. Drax getting up the inside. Nicely done, and he blows it. Glitch gets around. Sammy Seatax right on his tail. Looks like Drax went from first to third there. But that's not all. Check this out. Look at that. Drax nailed the side of Glitch's car and forced him into an amazing Lily the Dog rollover and managed to keep it together enough to keep going forward. But Drax didn't back down, absolutely muscled his way in front of him, and yet Glitch still didn't back down. He kept pushing hard all the way to the finish, and it paid off. Wow, Glitch did such an amazing job there to hold on, and Drax was doing everything he could to hold him out. Yeah, he absolutely punished him there, but then came around, got his angle wrong into that final straight. Glitch went by, Sammy Seatax goes by, and Drax spins across the finish line with Dion coming in fourth. Congratulations, Glitch. Man, talk about perseverance paying off. That was just an absolutely incredible run. Glitch posting five points moves into second place just behind Sammy Seatax. Yeah, that was an awesome run by Glitch. Seatax and Glitch in the back row, Dion and Drax up front. Drax out of the gate very quickly. He'll come out with the lead out of KM Corner. Dion in behind. Looking pretty clean. Everybody down and cross the finish line very cleanly there. After the absolute chaos of those first two races, that was quite sedate. And now we just have to see who's going to join Sammy Seatax in the final. All right, well, we've got Seatax and Dion up front. Glitch and Drax in behind. They get underway for the final race. Seatax out super quick again. Gets ahead of Dion. Some spinning going on in behind. Sounded like an accident. The three hot rods cross the finish line. Glitch stalls out. Let's just go back through the replay and find out what happened to Glitch. So he was behind everyone. So it wasn't like he was being bullied this time. Gets a bit of a drift on through Kahuna Corner and then gets his angle wrong coming out. That spins him sideways. He just wasn't able to recover. So disappointing for Glitch there. Only picking up six points. But that means Sammy Seatax and Drax go through to the finals next week. Wow, so plenty of action so far. We're just going to take a quick break. We'll be right back after this with round two. Whether you support Rat Rods or Hot Rods, make sure you head over to chaoscanyonmerch.online to pick up your shirt to show your support. chaoscanyonmerch.online. Get yours today. Welcome back, race fans. It's time for round number two in the semi-finals, and we've got some great drivers in this one. First up, we've got the Ford Falcon, driven by Jody for the Rat Rods, and Rigamoto, driven by Rick for the Hot Rods. Along with them, we've got the legend of Racing Grayson, driving the Ford Torino, and that so fast Riddler, driven by Wayne. First out of the gate, we've got the two Rat Rods. Behind them, we've got the Riddler and Rigamoto. Hopefully the Rat Rods can make the most of that front row start. Well, Grayson certainly is. He's out in front. There goes the Riddler trying to get up over the top of him as he jumps. And we've got two cars missing. Oh, that's Jody over on her roof and Rick stuck in behind. Wow, look at this. Wayne and the Riddler there jumped so far he landed on the back of Grayson's car. But Grayson did a legendary job there, holds on to the control of the car and gets down to the finish line. And even though Jody went over, at least she held up one of the hot rods. But check out this monster jump by Wayne and the Riddler. Wow, he landed right on the back window. No wonder Grayson got spun around there. But absolutely brilliant drive from Grayson. 
holds on for a tidy win and of course clocks up some much needed points for the rat rods. He's not getting much help from the other drivers. And that Riddler proving it is super quick. Oh it sure is, that thing is an absolute beast, but the rat rods are leading so far and that's what I like. Alright, race number two, we've got the Riddler right next to Grayson, this should be an interesting one, these two are probably the quickest in the field. Both trying to get into the lead here, Grayson comes out with the lead, the Riddler up the inside, gets around him, then nose to nose as they race to the finish, the <laughs> Riddler spins, crosses the line first, and Jody left behind again. The Riddler there, what a move up the inside of Grayson. Yeah, that was full send, he took a risk and it paid off for him that time. And Jody managing to roll herself back onto her wheels, but look at this move from the Riddler there. That is a power move, gets up the inside of Grayson, again Grayson didn't back off, absolute nerves of steel that kid. Absolutely, Grayson Grayson doing a fantastic job there, but congratulations to Wayne, that was a tight win. And you see here the Riddler spins, but just crosses the line ahead of Grayson, and then Rick and Rigger Motor there coming in third place. So we've got Grayson and Wayne tied for first place, Rick in third and Jody right at the back. So we've got the two hot rods up front now. Don't write Jody's Falcon off just yet. Remember last time she had two zeros and then came back to win it. We've got Grayson right on the tail here, but here goes the Riddler. Oh, he blows it. That is the first mistake we've seen from the Riddler. It's a close finish. Rigger Motor takes the win, driven by Rick. Then Grayson comes in second, but the Riddler is over on his roof. That is an uncharacteristic mistake there from Wayne. Yeah, he just slid in sideways into that wall and those open wheels just couldn't handle the pressure and he rolls up onto his side. But right in behind him, you've got Rick and Grayson seeing their opportunity, so they both push hard and it was such a close battle all the way to the finish line, but Rick managing to hold the other two out and Grayson manages to slide across for second. Grayson now moves into the lead with 11 points, but the Riddler and Rigger Motor still have a chance to knock him off depending on what happens in this fourth and final race. But get underway. Jody out very quick. Rigor Motor looks like he's swapping lanes. Jody with a huge lead here. Jody with clear road all the way to the finish. And she spins and the Riddler goes around. The Riddler sneaks the win off Jody. We've got Grayson parked up on the bridge. And Rigor Motor's over on his roof. What is going on? It was Rick and Rigor Motor that he got sideways going through KM Corner. He blocked both lanes. He manages to get thrown over the bridge. Grayson just manages to clear the gap safely, but that was as far as he managed to go. But that race up front got absolutely crazy. Jody had this in the bag. She was miles ahead. There's no other cars even in the shot. Gets the spinny spins going into the final straight. Wayne sees that opportunity, ducks up the inside and slides across with a big handbrake slide for the win to pin first place and takes 13 points overall. But even though Grayson didn't finish, he will be moving on to the finals as the only representative for the Rat Rods. So a lot riding on young Grayson's shoulders as we head into the final. Let's take a closer look at these four finalists. Sammy Seatax driving the black so fast. Then we've got Drax driving the custom Fangular hot rod. And we know he's not only quick, but he also likes to swap a bit of paint. Then Wayne driving the custom Riddler so fast. And that thing has been super quick. But don't ride off the rat rods because Grayson is there and his awesome Ford Torino. True, Grayson Grayson is proving himself to be quite the legend so far. And that car is epically quick. Make sure to tune in next week for the big finale. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Tom Spanners Watson. He's Frank the Guru Gibbs. We look forward to seeing you next week.